Hey there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and it's been a little while since I've done a video from my computer camera because, well, obviously my actual camera is a lot better looking. However, I felt like the amount of editing that I would have to do to make this video work as a stand-up and record video would just be a lot, a lot of work, and honestly, it would not make this video that much better than it would be if I just sat down at the computer and recorded it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So so in case you guys don't know, Starlink got retouched on today at the Ubisoft conference at E3. If you'd like a general overview video instead of an in-depth video, be sure to check out the other video that I published. But if you want the more in-depth look at all the components that are in Starlink, then stay on this video because you're, you're on the right video. So in case you haven't actually gotten a chance to do a deep look at the, um, at the thing, well, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the Starlink Amazon page. Now, for some reason, the pictures are being kind of weird and won't actually let me go through every single picture. It only lets me go through the first three, and then I have to manually go through and click on them all. So, the first one is, of course, the starter pack, which, if you haven't seen that by now, well, I'm kind of surprised you haven't. So, here's the starter pack. You can see it includes a ship, a pilot, and three weapons. One of the fire, or I think it's heat, actually not fire, one of the ice or frost, and I think that is kinetic. Um, I don't actually know the names of all of the abilities yet. Um, the second image just shows, again, what it includes. You can see that that is the attachment that attaches to um, your controller and actually allows you to, um, you know, pilot the ship, scan it in-game. Um, this picture shows all of the pilots, actually. So if we go over to the pilots page, which is right here, we can see there are only 10 pilots that will be in Starlink Battle for Atlas. Only six have been revealed so far, and only nine will actually be present in all platforms of the games, because of course we've got Fox McCloud that will only be present in the Switch version. So in this picture, we can actually see all nine pilots. Now, we don't actually know all of their names. We already know um, Callisto Chase Da Silva, Hunter Hunter Haka, Mason, Rana, Judge, and Shahid. And you can see if you click on each one, there is a little bit of a backstory for each one. I'll let you guys explore that if you want to. So the characters that seem to be new on here is this one. And honestly, I don't really know the rest of them well enough to be able to tell you what other characters are on here that aren't on the website. But either way, all nine pilots are represented here. We can also see five of the ships. Now, if we go to the ship page, we can see that there are 10 ships. However, only nine of them will be present in um, all platforms of the game, especially the PS4, which is what this is a promotional thing for. Of course, the, um, what is it? The Fox Wing, the, Fo the Star Fox R Wing is the one that will not be present. And the Zenith is the one that comes in the starter pack, as you can see, that is the Zenith. And um, we can see the Zenith, we can see the other, uh, we can see the other ships that are there, the Neptune, the Pulse, the Lance, and the Nadir, um, all are the ones that are shown in this image. So we don't get to see any more of the ships, but we know that there are 10 of them, and we know a total of 5 as of right now. Now, if we go to the weapons page, it looks like there are only 10 weapons, which is kind of weird, especially if we go to this image right here, which comes from NintendoEverything.com. Now, if we zoom way in on this picture, we can actually get a good look at some of the stuff. We can see five of the ships, the five that we already know, and then we can see how many is this. This is all nine of the pilots. We can All the pilots are apparently public information as of right now. But over here, when we go to the weapons section, we can see that there are actually more than 10, or at least it appears that way. This is the purple one. There's three. There's three. There's three. Then there are two and three, and then one. So that adds up to 9, 11, 14, and 15 weapons already. So we can assume that the reason there's only 10 shown here is because that's how many there, there are that they, they wanted to reveal so far, they just didn't want to add more rows and actually reveal how many weapons are coming. So I guess with that in mind, it's totally possible that there are more than 10 ships and there are more than 10 pilots, but at this point, I guess we really don't have a good way of knowing whether or not that's the case. Um, so if we actually go to this page, though, we can see that um, it's got all... it's got... Um, just more information, but we don't really know if pilots will correspond with vehicles right now or not. We're not really sure how that's going to be. Weapons, though, seem to be divided into several categories. You have kinetic, which is this symbol right here. So yeah, this is the kinetic weapon right here, the shredder that's kinetic. Um, you also have 
stasis, which is the levitator, which is like that white, or sorry, not white, yellow symbol, um, is stasis, or I assume it's like electric or shock. Heat has that flame symbol on it, and it's reddish. Gravity is the purple one. Oh, I did not mean to click on that, but it does give you more in-depth information if you want that. I just don't want more in-depth information. Um, let's see. What else do we have? We have Vortex, which is this shade of purple. So I'm not really sure if we go back to this. Maybe some of these are Vortex and some of them are Gravity. I don't really know at this point. It's There's not a lot of information available as to how all this is going to work. We also have Fire and Cold. So I don't really know how what the difference between Heat and and fire is sorry and fire i don't really know what the difference is but there appears to be some kind of a difference and if we go to this we can see that it's flamethrower and we can see the volcano well they're they seem to be represented in the same thing on the poster so i i don't know y'all i don't know how that's gonna work and i don't really know how each ship is gonna function and i don't know if they're all gonna only have two weapon slots there are a lot of questions right now for how all of this is going to pan out. Now, if you saw my other video, then you will know that my current speculation is that vehicles will cost $15 and pilots and weapons will cost six or seven dollars respectively. But I think that there's a good chance that vehicles and weapons and pilots will be sold in bundles rather than in individual packages. But honestly, at this point, I have absolutely no clue. But given the quality of the plastic, like they look good, but I don't think they're going to be as exorbitantly expensive as Skylanders were based on the fact that these figures are not that big. They're smaller than the original Skylanders, and they were originally only $7 when they first came out. They were later increased to $10 pretty quickly after, but honestly, I don't see these things selling for $10. I, I don't see why they would do that. No one in their right mind would, would do that, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So, I think we're safe in terms of price. I don't think the price will be ridiculous but at this point we we don't really know the answer to that question um so star fox is in there and it's going to include more than just star fox there's going to be more stuff in there as well um there's more information on the website as well if we go to worlds that's another thing on here we can see that there are 10 potential planets see last year i thought they only said there were seven planets in the atlas star system which now that there's potentially 10 is kind of confusing maybe there are only seven and it's just they have the coming soon things there because they do but as we can see each planet has a rundown talking about what it is ashtar is like a volcano planet or ashar is a volcano planet haven is more of a temperate planet you got Kirite or whatever that's like a, um, just a ruined planet. You, there's a lot of information available on this website that you guys can go explore for yourself. Because if I tried to go through all of this information and read it all off to you guys, this would be like a 30 minute video and I'm not out to do that. There are some other things that are not yet on the website. The official fan kit was working earlier, but it's not currently working for me. And you can see that there are several other things that are on here. There's a thing about the factions of Atlas. Let me see if this link is working now. Sometimes uh, this might actually be working now as well. Um, no, that, that article is not working. Um, neither is that. You can see the website is still not uh, terribly sophisticated as of right now. And I mean, I guess that's okay. The website literally just came out. So I wouldn't expect there to be a ton of information and stuff available. And I'm actually surprised that there already is this much information available for the for for people i think that's really cool um so yeah uh there's so much stuff to talk about um it's 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 daunting to start but there's a lot of information that is yet to be revealed and i imagine that as time goes on more information will be revealed now there's also no information on how the waves are going to pan out i assume that it's going to be like skylanders and light seekers and disney infinity and every other toys to life game that there's ever been and they're going to be waves for the patterns of release. It's not, not going to put all of them out at once, but I am willing to bet that all six of these pilots are going to be out on day one. 
all six of these starships are going to be out on day one. And I imagine all of these weapons, has seven of them, are going to be out on day one. But I wouldn't be surprised if even more weapons came out on day one. I don't really know how that's going to work at this point. Um, but I also know that Ubisoft is known for doing DLC. So perhaps the reason that only seven star system, or planets have been revealed is because there's going to be DLC. There's a lot of questions right now about Starlink. And there's not a whole lot of answers right now. But again, it just got revealed and we're just now starting to get information about Starlink for the first time in literally a year and I am extremely excited about this there's just again there's a lot of unanswered questions and I'm sure that they will be answered soon so stick around because as stuff gets revealed I'm going to be covering it and I'm excited to bring you guys all the latest Starlink news and as there are going to be demos on the showroom floor of E3 I imagine we'll get additional news and information as well and if that does happen to be the case well I will be making Making a compilation video with all the news that you guys need to know about Starlink Battle for Atlas. So if you want more information, stay tuned for that right here on this channel. Anyways, guys, this has been Portal Master 9351. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of the Starlink Battle for Atlas website. Tell me down in the comments below what of all this news most excites you. Is it the worlds? Are you excited for the weapons? Are you excited for Star Fox? Tell me down in the comments below. That's all for now, though. This has been Portal Master 9351. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and shout out to all my patrons on Patreon, especially Liam Corner, The Collector Creepypasta, and Portal Power TV. That's all for now. See you guys next time.